This is my friend the bird who can talk. Meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. You are beautiful. Meow. 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 Meow meow. What does that mean? Do you speak English? Meow. Meow. Bye bye. Meow. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. So here we can buy panda. Nothing over here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My children would ask me, can I, may I uh, coins improve my, my pocket money? I have to record this because I'll never remember it, um, all this information. It's been torrentially raining since the, we after lunch and we are completely outside, thunderstorm. It's been pretty terrible, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is the Mianjiang, Mianjiang River. Uh, it is the longest branch of the Chong something river, which is a very serious river. Um, that eventually flows into the Three Gorges Dam, which is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world. So that's about all I got. It's absolutely um, flowing. I'm not sure if it's going to come on video, but it is booking right now. It's very scary, and I'm sure as hell not going to get on that rope bridge, um, no matter how much they ask me to. So, uh, great. So we're now at another point on the river. Um, this, that little uh, thing right there is called the Fish Mouth. It was built a ridiculous amount of years ago. 
It's one of the most famous things on this uh, in this area, Sichuan Province. Just to give you some more information about that thing in the river we just looked at, it's the Crescent Moonlike Fishmouth Water Diversion Levee lies in the middle of the Mingjiang River, which is about 2,000 meters away from the from the start of the river. Um, since the front part looks down, it looks like a fish's mouth. That's why it, where it gets its name. Um, it was one of the most important constituents of the uh, Dujiang Wea hydraulic project. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. It has the mag magical function of dividing water according to 40% to 60% diversion ratio and sand discharging function of 20 to 80% discharging ratio. Really have no, no clue what that means, but it sounds really interesting. Um, over here, it was the other, the fish mouth is there. Um, that's where the dam is, where some of the sand water is diverted. And then this is the other side. Uh, where the rest of the water is diverted. So, kind of cool. Um, this is an example of the cranes that they used um, 200 years ago, or 2,000 years ago, where they would wrap them up in these bundles and then lower them down in, in order to build the, uh, the uh, whatever this is, the water diversion fish mouth. So, kind of uh, cool to see the way that they did it. See these people getting a picture. By the way, um, that is not the rope bridge, that is a, uh, this is a different bridge. Uh, it's still uh, absolutely terrifying, but on the other side used to be uh, a temple, not a temple, um, kind of like a temple, a hotel where the, where the uh, emperor used to host guests. But in 2008, uh, when the Sichuan earthquake hit this region, it was absolutely destroyed. So it, it no longer exists anymore, unfortunately. So uh, yeah pretty terrifying. Maybe you can see how much the water is moving from all the rain that we've been getting. Pretty sure I would shit myself if I was down there. It's absolutely freaking terrifying. I can barely hear myself talk. So against my better judgment, they've convinced me to cross the bridge so I don't have to stay over on the other side alone. I'm not sure if you can tell how much it's wobbling. You can see these fucking morons here like to shake it. They must think that they're... Yeah. So good. What the fuck am I doing? They made me stop filming because they wanted me to hold on, but now there's nobody that's really retarded and shaking the rope fucking bridge that we're crossing the raging torrent. Jesus Christ. What the fuck am I doing here? I'm not sure if you can see or not, but you can see the raging water between the slats of the bridge. Glad I looked down. Not. <laughs> 